Hello, I am Kirsten, and this is Kirsten Curses About. I may not be cursing that much today, because today I will be reviewing a song. Kind of. It is Sink the Bismarck by Johnny Horton. And originally, fun fact, it was released with a misspelling. Bismarck was originally spelled by him, incorrectly, as B-I-S-M-A-R-K. They forgot the C. And historical inaccuracy will remain a trend throughout this song, which I will be singing because I spent eight hours sitting in the fucking unemployment line today, and time has lost no meaning. Time has lost all meaning. I'm just done, and I don't know how to do this without getting copyrighted. So... In May of 1941, the war had just begun. Uh, okay, first inaccuracy there. Um, no, the war started in 1939. It had been going on for two years. And that's provided you don't say that the war started in 1931 with the invasion of Manchuria. Or in 1947 with the full-on Japanese invasion of China. The start date is super nebulous and <sighs> either way going on the germans had the biggest ship they had the biggest guns no they didn't but at the time no one really knew that so the japanese ship the yamamoto was bigger than the bismarck and this song was written in 1960 so Tillman Franks, the writer, should have, like, known. But once again, research really didn't seem to be these salt guys' fortes. The Bismarck was the fastest ship that ever sailed her seas. Her decks were guns as big as steers and shells as big as trees. Out one cold and foggy night came British ship the hood. And every British seaman he knew and understood. They had to sink the Bismarck, the terror of the sea. Stop those guns as big as steers, those shells as big as trees. We'll find the German battleship that's making such a fuss. We'll gotta sink the Bismarck, cause the world begins on us. The world depends on us. Oh, fuck. Uh, fuck. Hit the decks of running boys and spin those guns around. When we find the Bismarck, we gotta cut her down. Okay, so here's actually a thing. Um... I was trying to find a definitive answer on if the Bismarck was a he or a she. Um, there was no super great consensus on it. Because Bismarck, what the Bismarck was named after Chancellor Otto von Bismarck, who was a chancellor in not Weimar, Germany. He was like before that. Yeah, no, he was like a chancellor before like World War One because that man knew when that war would start, and wow, he predicted it alarmingly well. So, that's what I have. I'm not going to sing the rest of this song, because I am very tired, and basically, or takeaway from this video, um, technically, World War I started in 1939. That's what you're going to answer on your tests. Unless you're in China, in which case it started in either 1937 or 1931. But also, the inner war years were just a huge freaking mess. Like, there was the Spanish Civil War, a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, takeaway number two, the Yamamoto was bigger. Like, by 10-ish... 10, 15-ish meters, uh, both, like, in the water and out of the water. Also, I believe it had more guns, but, like, please don't quote me on any of this. Um, and, yeah, and I don't really know the ship's gender. Um, I did read that Captain Linderman, the captain of the Bismarck, asked the ship to be called a he- but I couldn't find any sources on that, and also, he was a fucking Nazi, so, like, I don't give a damn what he says. So, I guess you can just, like, call the Bismarck whatever you want, like, 
It was not the biggest battleship. It was not. The Yamamoto was bigger. And I'm going to end this video before it gets even more rambly.